Did you know that wholesale electric utilities have complex financial systems to manage their businesses? Although they may be complex, it's not impossible to understand. The Western Area Power Administration has 10 rate setting systems, over 9 power systems, and multiple funding sources to keep the lights on 24-7. It covers 15 states, comprised of four regions, and has more than 680 utility customers that each have their own individual business needs. One way to manage all of this is through unobligated balances. So, what are unobligated balances? Unobligated balances are funding reserves used to continue operating during emergencies and to provide flexibility with changes in funding, and are common business practice in the federal government and the broader electric utility industry. WAPA uses them as a sustainable tool to carry out its core mission of providing safe, secure, reliable, and affordable energy and transmission services to its customers. First off, unobligated balances do not impact customer rates. In fact, maintaining them can prevent or minimize potential rate fluctuations to customers. It is also designed to help stabilize power rates due to potential drought conditions. For example, if there's a drought and the dam in the area is not producing enough generation to fulfill WAPA's contractual obligations, power is purchased on the open market to supplement the power requirements for its customers. What else can unobligated balances be used for? Capital construction projects often take several years to complete, and funding is needed upfront to start federal projects. Having a reserve fund on hand gives agencies the flexibility to complete projects when the scope or other customer priorities change. Unobligated balances are also used as emergency funds. In October 2013, WAPA's Upper Great Plains region experienced a severe blizzard damaging 26 structures. Having a reserve fund could have provided additional flexibility, repairing the structures and restoring power to its customers. Now let's give a breakdown of where WAPA receives its funding. In fiscal year 2017, the Western Area Power Administration's total funding is $1.17 billion, with $95.8 million in federal appropriations. WAPA recently finalized its unobligated balances strategy and returned $328 million to the Treasury Reclamation Fund in fiscal year 2016, and has returned a total of $894 million over the past five years. At the end of the day, WAPA provides a service that is an integral part of the nation's critical infrastructure. It requires around-the-clock operations to provide safe, reliable hydroelectric power and transmission services to its customers and ultimately 40 million end-users throughout the West.